migratory birds on hacker rank and i'm going to start the clock at 15 minutes right now all right you have been asked to help study the population of birds migrating across the continent each type of bird you are interested in will be identified by an integer value um, each time a particular bird is spotted its id number will be added to your array of sightings you would like to be able to find out which type of bird is which type of bird is most common given a list of sightings your task is to print the type number of that bird and if two more types are equally common choose a type with the smallest id number for example, 11223, one, one, two, there are two types of 1 and 2, uh, and one sighting of type 3. Pick the lower of the two types, um, seen twice, in this case, um, 1. So you would you would print out or return 1. It is guaranteed that each type is 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So that's actually um, limiting in that respect. I think I can set up two variables, really. Um, I have an array, and I set up two variables. Um, so I'm going to keep track of two variables, which are the um, max. Uh, so this is the max number, which is going to be like negative one for now. Um, and then the max ID, which is going to be zero for the moment. Uh, actually, I should make it like very large, in this case, like six, because it is out of the range. So these are both like out of the range of what it could be, right? Yeah. Um, I guess max should be zero, technically. Um, so I think I can just let my have like a store here. That'll be my actually. I, I want to set up an array of a new oh, new array of five things filled with zeros for const num of array. And here I will ch uh, I, all I all I need to do is increment right. So I need to say if store num. Oh no, I just literally just incremented it by one. Store plus plus. And I will say if store num is greater than max, then max equals store num. And max id equals the uh, the number itself. But I need to also check something else. I need to say, okay, and and the num needs to be less than the max id so if it's less than the max id sorry if the number is um greater than the max oh no i need no hold on hold on hold on only if it's greater than max what if i make it equal greater or equal to max so if i if it's greater or equal to max that allows me to capture any numbers that are the same count but this way i can ensure that the um the num, hmm, okay, hold on, let me think about this. Store num will give you the number, the count, the, the frequency count. If you're greater than the max, so if you're greater than the max, then you're good, this is good as is. Else if, store num is equal to the max, that's a different situation. That is, nope. oh, geez, what is going on? So if you're equal to the max, then I need to check, and I want to say, and max ID is, uh, so the, the num is less than the max ID. That is a situation I would like to just change the max ID to the num. Okay, and at the end, I will return the max ID. Okay, I'm going to run some code. Let's see what happens. All right, got an answer. Let's uh, submit some code. Looks good. Okay. Um, my, let me think about like big O notation and whatnot. I should have done, done this earlier. Um, so I'm moving through the array at least once. So this is a big O of n. Uh, n. Uh, I'm not looping through anything else. And I'm uh, keeping this store, which is big O of Six, which is constant time so this is irrelevant effectively like we're told that the number could be quite large here I'm, I'm concerned like what if you have an array that's just the same number that's really huge then you don't need to do all this you could just do like a create a set and then see if there's if there's more than one if there's only one number in which case then you could just say that whatever that the idea is um, but I think this should work just fine I mean it, it obviously worked fine so um, 
I think that's good. I think that's as efficient as, efficient as I need to be. Uh, I'll be going on to another medium in a little bit. So I'll see you there. Bye.